What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rottweilers. And as you guys can see, we got a ton of boxes in from Amazon. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. And then we're going to head to the store so we can grab us some meat for our raw mix. Take a look from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them. And they gon' love though they doubt it. Better have Here's our first box. Right here we have our thermal chill containers. We actually use these to ship out our freshly chilled semen. I got two boxes of these. Second box we got, we got some of my rags. I like to get these rags with like hospital rags. I use this for our incubator, um, where our puppies like to lay, all that kind of good stuff. And I will be posting up the link to some of the items that we have here. And then we got our 3ML syringes. I use this um, probably the first two to three days when I'm nursing the puppies. And I also like to use this right here when I'm trying to give my uh, adult dogs medicine, all that kind of good stuff. And I decided to do this unboxing on YouTube just because I get a lot of questions and people asking me, hey, where did you get this or where did you get that? So from now on, when we get packages here at Proctor House Rottweilers, we're going to be unboxing them all on YouTube. So we'll go ahead and grab another box. Let's see what we got in here. And now we got our 10 ml syringes. I use these kind of for the same thing. To be honest, I should have never ordered these just because I did order bigger uh, syringes. So when we're actually nursing, these puppies are starting to get a little bit older. Drop that to the side. We got right here. Okay. So right here, this is a little portable uh, mini AC unit. I got this to kind of cool off my room. Even though I did order the Pet Brew Incubator, I still feel like my room is still going to get hot because you guys know we are located in Arizona. So I figured I might as well get something small just so I can blow it um, on mom or I can blow it towards the uh, incubator just in case the humidity gets too high in there, the temperature gets too high in there, and I don't actually have to turn on my AC unit for my front room, even though I have access to do it. But if this is going to help me from having to use my AC unit in my house, this is a win. I will be giving you guys an update on this Arctic unit, letting you guys know if it works or not. We'll know in the next couple weeks. Let's go ahead and grab it. And like I mentioned before, I did order some 30 ml syringes for feeding the puppies once they reach close up to a weak age. Um, these syringes work really well. Obviously I can go bigger, but I think the 30 ml is perfect because you're able to feed multiple puppies. Um, and also it's just small enough to where the milk is not getting cold while you're actually feeding. Um, so these right here, the major plus for when you're nursing. We got one more box that we'll be unboxing and then we're gonna head to the feed store so we can go grab our raw mix. So this is the box I've been wanting to show you guys. So this, it's how I actually feed my puppies. And as you can see, it comes with 30 ml tubes. These are the lock nipples, which you see right here. But these work really well. I don't know how many different bottles and nipples that I've tried, um, but it seems that all of my puppies for the last three litters, they love these things right here. Got a ton of them, can never go wrong. The only thing I hate about having to buy um, this nipple and syringe setup is that there's not an option to actually just buy the nipple. So you see, I, I, I just bought 30 ml syringes. I wish there was an option to actually just buy the nipple, but it's not, so you gotta buy the nipple and syringe together. But it's all good, you never can go wrong with having uh, enough items for your puppy, you know, so. This is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh, actually, I'm gonna show you guys. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is our puppies whelping box. I get asked so many times what whelping box that I use. This is it, it is the puppies whelping box. Um, as you guys know, I ordered this back, uh, I ordered this almost a month ago now um, when it was on back order out of stock basically. Um, when we were whelping our two litters, it was Willow and Princess and I had to use a little baby pool for a whelping box during that litter. But this thing finally came in. So we're gonna get this set up um, for our, one of our next litters whenever we have two litters at the same time. You guys will see both whelping boxes full, hopefully. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up so we can get to the store. Hopefully they got enough meat in here to last me at least a week. So I got a surprise for you guys. I'll be showing you guys sometime next week, hopefully. See what they got in here. This is exactly what we're looking for right here. 
see they got the chicken leg quarters for ten dollars for ten pounds and now that i see that they have plenty of meat i'm probably going to grab more than a week's supply to load up these chicken leg quarters so it's ten bucks might as well grab five of these bags five, oh man it's the worst ah change my mind <laughs> I ain't grabbing five of these bags. We just gonna rock with these two that were on top. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Looking for some liver. We got right here. Yeah. Beef sliced liver. Grab a couple packs of that. Let's grab probably two of these. Next, we want to grab some heart. Beef heart. That's that. Two bucks, three bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. Might as well grab more. Gonna load up then. We can always get the beef kidney. Really good for the dogs, also. Only a dollar. Yeah, see this spot right here is where I like to come and get this meat, man, because it's super cheap. We ran out of the dollar one, but I'm gonna grab this one right here. I think we got a good amount of meat so far. Let's walk around a little bit, see if we can find something that catches our eye. able to find any more meat but we're gonna look for some rice and then we're gonna get up out of here and I'm actually gonna end up passing on the rice because they did not have the big bag that I thought they were gonna have here we already got a couple of little small bags like this but I was trying to go in bulk let's go ahead and get this paid for so we can get up out of here so we just got back to the house I have my wife here helping me cut up this meat and as soon as she's done cutting it up I'm gonna call my son in so he can help us put this meat to the ground Shout out to my wife for getting this meat prepped to go into my grinder. As you guys can see, my son's back there with his dino, ready to help get this stuff knocked out. So let's get to it. Yeah. Got it? Let me help you do it. Now it's time to package our raw meat up so we can throw this in the freezer. We got everybody lined up. First female in here is going to be our girl Nora. Second beautiful girl is going to be our girl Willow. Hopefully she's loaded with Magastar pups. So we get that big boy Ferrari in there. We got our boy Simba. We already got our girl Nora going to town. Next up is our girl Willow. As you guys noticed, there was not any raw in Willow's diet. 
because we haven't been on the raw uh, for at least a month now and I do not like to start my females on raw when they're pregnant or about to go in the heat. So we're gonna let her ride out her uh, pregnancy on straight kibble and her prenatal vitamin. A big boy Ferrari going to town. And I know you guys are waiting to actually get a live video of this boy. And it's coming very, very soon. But what's crazy, this is kind of one of his first meals where he's actually going to town on it getting down on it so I'm happy that he actually taken to this meal because this whole time he's been here he's been scamping on the kip but we're gonna get him right though and last but not least we got our big boy simple right here and there we go we got all of our dogs fed that are actually able to be outside our girl Vera and uh Hi Bear actually in the house feed them a little bit differently but this is going to be the end of the video I appreciate you guys tuning in be sure to hit that subscribe button when you guys do subscribe be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when we do drop our videos also please give us a follow on instagram and tiktok and a like on facebook all at proctor house raw wallace and we're out take a look from the bottom i know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them and they gonna love though they doubt it better have stamina because success is a mountain